Hi, I'm Josh Blair. This is uh, Duran's Prod Room today, and this is where I'm working from for the moment. Uh, tell you a little bit about it. We've got Sonodyne speakers here. I'm running Pro Tools, and the way I do stuff is I have choice bits of outboard gear to go into Pro Tools that color the sound before I do anything else, so that that way I've got what I want in Pro Tools, and there's a minimal amount of mucking around afterwards. I, when I uh, choose monitors, I like to go for a set that are kind of true to what they should be, not too hi-fi, not too unflattering, so that I can listen to them and I can be inspired during the day. And What's out in the room is what I'm getting in here. So I, I work a little bit to make it sound better, but uh, that's what I want to hear. I pretty much use near fields exclusively for the sheer fact that I can not have them too loud where full range monitors up in the soffit mount you have to have them fairly loud to uh, to make them work near fields you don't have to and you don't energize the room therefore you're just listening to the speaker and not the room uh, before I got my Sonodynes I had a different speaker and uh, for me to mix with them to make them sound good I had to have the it had to be so bright in the, the speaker that it just was annoying and, and you know hurt my ears and I just didn't want to have to do that so now that I've got the Sonodynes I don't have to mix everything so bright they're a truer flatter response uh, what I like about the SM100 is the the bass is true and full but not over hyped it's not a really boomy box it's it's got the, enough bass in there so you know what's going on but not overly hyped like some speakers are. The mids are very clear and clean and flat which is great so you can hear everything. The top end is crisp, clean but not bright to the point of really sharp and hurting it and it's a small compact speaker and it just does what it says on the tin. Yes the stereo image and detailing is is great with these speakers it's just for a monitor it's really good so I can hear what's going on the pan with pan positions and everything I don't get any mush you listen to what's in the recording you stand in front of the drum kit you listen to it on the speakers it's exactly what it is like a stereo pair on the on the drum kit and you can almost hear exactly where everything is it's it's great so for these I love mixing with them and recording with them because I know exactly what's going on for a street price of under a grand, these monitors are absolutely fantastic value. They're, they're, they're good value at any price. They're just great. So far I've used the Sonodynes on pop, rock, R&B, a whole bunch of different stuff. It all works. It's great. I love them. I can hear exactly what I want to hear. Uh, and the whole Duran Duran album that I've been working on so far has been done with these. I don't actually have a most played album on my iPod. I don't really buy albums on my iPod. Actually, it is just singles for me. I like the song, I go and buy it, and especially with the internet, it's just so easy just to go and get a single. So that's it, sorry. Uh, the song that I use all the time as a reference track is uh, Fields of Gold by Sting. That for me, I just know that song so, so, so well. Uh, and I use it all the time because I know the, the, what it's supposed to sound like so when I go into a room I put that on as the first track <laughs>